Hey guys, this is Double Wide Six, and uh, today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about some tie-down hooks that you can mount on top of a truck. Um, first of all, these hooks are only as strong as they are anchored. So if you're tying down something like a motorcycle or a zero-turn mower, and you got it tied off to these hooks, you want to make damn sure these hooks are on there to last, and they're not going to pull out. So if I take this thing. You can see I'm shaking the whole truck, so that is anchored real good. And I can tell you firsthand that you're not going to be able to anchor it that tight using these rubber mounts that come with these hooks. So today what I'm going to show you is how to mount these things so that they're rock solid and they're not going to break loose on you. So the principle behind these anchors is that as you twist and tighten the top, spin that around clockwise it's going to cause this rubber grommet to expand and that's going to expand in the hole and hold on tight well the problem is those things don't grip tight enough usually and you can see that there is some play in here so what i like to do is fasten these down using some metal and i'll show you how to do it it's quite easy so what you need to do is remove the rubber from in here. So I'm going to remove the rubber and I'm going to thread through this piece of uh, just scrap metal that I made. So as you can see I pulled the rubber out of there and I switched out the rubber with this piece of metal. Now what we're going to do is fit it in the hole and mount it. So here's the tricky part, trying to get this thing to mount in the hole. What you got to do is just kind of work it through so that your piece of metal falls through there like mine did and there's a rubber gasket I want to keep that up above my bed rails there we go and now that we have everything I think we have it. there we go now that we have everything all we have to do is tighten it down I'm just gonna get this rubber gasket seated properly so I have everything lined up, now it's just a matter of snugging this thing up and making sure everything stays nice and straight. Sometimes you have to pull up on this in order to get that metal to lock in place and not spin underneath. Now it's getting nice and snug. And usually one extra turn over snug should be good. So now as you can see that baby, we'll go one more. Oh half a turn here there you go so that baby is locked on there and it's not moving and that's the fourth one so these are all tied down these things are really handy a lot of times I put uh, garbage cans in the back of the truck and I strap them in and you can't tie them in down at the uh, lower anchors down there because the cans are top heavy and will tip over but these work really good for ropes and uh, straps and things like that so I thought that little tip could help somebody out hopefully you enjoyed this video I'm double wide six thanks for watching